what's up camp nerd fans this is ian and i am back with another tutorial i apologize for not putting videos out i had a health scare and kind of been in and out of the hospital and just a long story short uh my blood pressure has been up really 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 high and i've been trying to get it under control been having headaches and things like that and i ended up and i went to the emergency room and they did some tests and they found a solitary nodule that's in my left lung which is a benign granuloma lesion and i'm gonna have to be going to a pulmonary specialist and things like that so that is why i have not been putting out videos but i am back and today we're going to do a remake version of my video on wind forms how to make a borderless form minimize and maximize as well as keeping the taskbar this time i'm going to show you how to do it in wpf i have noticed that there are no videos on how to do it in WPF. So that is what we're going to do today. And before we get into the tutorial, be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, share, and leave a comment below. And be sure to read the description for all the cool things you can get, such as the Keep It Nerdy in the Camp t shirts. They are on sale. And so for uh, tutorial wise, let's just jump into it. It's going to be really, really simple. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a folder, which is going to give us a uh, base to put it in. I'm just going to put tutorial and you can do this in any application that you want whatsoever and uh, I'm redoing my desktop screen recorder so right now I'm using OBS software and I'm gonna be implementing a few things and also if you see right here uh, we have the nerd media suite that is gonna be coming out on Windows Store September 1st 2018 so with a tutorial what you want to do is you want to open up a WPF application all right, name it whatever you want, or if you have an application already, you can add it in as well. So what we're going to do is we're just going to select this folder and click OK. And we're going to let the WPF application build. And then this is really, 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 really simple. I have seen several tutorials where they have... 30 to 40 lines of co code on how to do all this and everything so i'm going to show you how to accomplish this and it works on dual screens and you can uh, be able to use this in any application that you want and this is how to minimize maximize a borderless wpf form while retaining the taskbar all right so what we're going to do is we're just going to click on the window and we're going to go to properties and we're going to click for the resize mode, no resize. And then we want it to come up in the center screen and with the window normal. All right, then you are going to go to, uh, uh, let's see, is it automation? No, it's not automation, miscellaneous. No, it's not miscellaneous. Give me just a second here, layouts, nope. All right, somewhere in here is going to be that's text, appearance. Here we go. You're going to go to appearance, and where it says single border window for window style, you are going to put none. All right, so this gives us a uh, borderless form window. And what we're going to do is just to show you, uh, we're going to start it and run it, and you'll see that it comes up. And there's really no movement to it, anything like that. Well, I'm going to show you how to get the movement on it first off because we're dealing with the window. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fit this so that there so you can see it. What we're going to do is we're going to go to window and you're going to go to properties. And then you are going to do the... Uh, for the dragging, it is going to be the mouse down. All right, where's the mouse down, mouse down. Here we go, mouse down. You're going to click on it, and just one line of code, real simple from the Windows forms. You're just going to put this dot drag move, and then you're going to do that right there. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to save it, and we're going to run it. And you can see that now it is movable. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add two buttons 
or you can yeah we're gonna add two buttons uh, you can do button button and button we'll do three buttons so this button we're just gonna put right here uh, this button we're going to put right there and this button we're going to put it down here somewhere in line with it like that uh, this is not trying to get everything in line. So what you're going to do is on this first button, you're going to go to the properties and you're going to name it and it is going to be minimize. Okay, then you're going to come down to the common area and content you're going to put minimize and that gets that button then this right here is going to be maximize and then you're going to name it is maximize so we can reference it in the code then you're going to go to buttons and you're going to do the same thing except this is going to be exit and this is going to be exit now, you can have uh, the material skins like I did in the last for the Windows forms. You can also use material skins in WPF. If you would like to see how to use the material skins and get cool buttons without having to add pictures in JPEGs and PNG and stuff like that, leave a comment section. Leave a comment in the comment section below stating that you want to see that tutorial. All right, so now we're here on the exit button. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the exit and we're going to go to the event and we're going to do the click. All right, now with this, this is going to be a simple code. It's the same thing, and it's going to be system.windows.application, and then this is going to be close, or not close, shut down. Hang on, we got to do current first, current dot, then it's going to be, you can use shut down or you can go up here as you see exit. Uh, what I would recommend doing is the shut down and then you're just going to do like that right there. So now whenever we save it and we run it, if I can click on the buttons right, now, as you see, it's movable, and we click exit, and it exits out of the application. Okay, so now, in order to get the maximize, what we're going to do is we're going to click on the maximize button, and then we're going to go to properties, and then we're going to go to the click event. Now, once you get up here, under the initialize component, you need to put this dot max height equals system parameters and then you're going to do maximized primary screen height and you're going to close that off like that then down here you're going to put this dot window state equals maximize Nope. Window state dot maximized. And you're going to close that off. Now we want to have the function to where we can go back to normal as well. So what we're going to do is we're just going to come down and we're going to do an if statement. If, and then you're going to put this dot window state is equal to window state dot normal. And then you're just going to come out and you're going to uh, come down like so to fix it. And that'll bring it up maximize. Then you can do else if uh, this dot window state is equal to window state dot maximized. Then you can come down and do uh, this dot window state equals window state dot normal and close it off like that right there. 
Now you can save it, and when you run it, you will see that when you maximize, you have this taskbar showing down at the bottom. You hit maximize again, and it goes back to normal. We click our exit button. It completely exits. Now, if we go to the minimize button, do the same thing. Go to the click event. And then this is going to be the exact same thing. It's going to be an if this dot window state is equal to window state dot normal. Then we're going to come down and do this dot window state equals window state dot minimized. Close that off. Then we're going to do our else if. And this is going to be this dot window state is equal to window state dot minimized. Then we're going to come back and we're going to bring it back to normal. This dot window state equals window state dot normal. Then we're going to close that off. So now when we save it and we run it, we have our movement, we have minimize, and bring and minimize up. You got maximize with the taskbar showing. You hit maximize again, and it goes down, then exit. Now, what I was saying, uh, if you would like to see the really cool buttons, I'll just show you a sneak peek of the nerd media suite it's just the beginning there is nothing uh fancy about it at the moment but when we open up the nerd media suite you'll see what i'm talking about as far as the buttons and the icons and things like that and this is using the material skin themes so what we're going to do is we're just going to Close that out, close that out, and you see how I've got my uh, help button, which goes to the about. It's movable, and then you've got your power button, which exits. you got your maximize screen, and oh, I need to uh, fix this right here. Let's delete that. I pasted that in the wrong section. I thought I got rid of that earlier. So let's go back to the start. Let's minimize this so now you have the max with the taskbar then you got that you got the minimize bring it back up and then the about button i have not set it up yet but then your power shuts everything down like so all right so if you would like to see more tutorials Leave a comment in the comment section below. Be sure to read the description to find out more about where you can get the t-shirts and how to follow me everywhere and how to go to the new website that we just built. And be sure to like, subscribe to the channel. Be sure to turn on those notifications so you can see more tutorial videos like this coming your way whenever they are uploaded. Remember that this is Ian here in the camp. Well, office slash bedroom but still we are no longer in the tent where i first originally started it uh i would move everything to the tent do the series and come back it's just much easier to have it in the office in the bedroom so like i said this is ian here in the camp and remember i will see y'all in the next tutorials keep it nerdy in the camp all right guys i'll see y'all in the next tutorials I'm gonna hold on, hold on, oh no